Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm going to be showing the Flip and Find sets. This is one of the most highly requested showcases, but it took me a while to get the full set, and now that I have it, it is time to finally do the showcase. These come in adorable animal shapes, and they have this unique concept where you can display the compact in several ways. We are going to start with this adorable panda. I really love the shape of these. I think it looks so unique and eye-catching. And on the back, we can see the platform, which we're going to flip later. Here we have a purple and white panda instead of the usual black and white. She's got purple eyes, ears, paws. Her paw print is so cute. We can also see the inside of the compact through her eyes and through this little heart here on the door. And when we open it, we can see even more of the interior. The only thing I don't like about this is I can see some of the furniture. It makes her eyes look a little weird, but overall this is very cute and I love it already. And on the back, there's that flip and find platform. This one is a bridge over a koi pond. We also have some lily pads and beautiful koi fish. This is also the first time I've gotten to play with these and explore the flip and find concept, so I'm very excited. And this is the interior of the panda compact. Down here we have a little playground in a bamboo forest. There's a seesaw. I love the bamboo all around here because, as we all know, Pandas love bamboo. There's also some patterns back there of the Polly Pocket logo. It's all around here too, and I think that's a very nice touch. And this is the flip concept, so we can flip this platform. And we get the koi pond. And now we have the playground on the exterior of the panda. It does look a little weird because it looks like her flesh is exposed. It might just be the color of this because it's a little organ colored but other than that it's very cute very interesting and on top we get a panda house with a bunch of panda furniture and this is where the find concept comes in so we are supposed to see how many pandas we can find there's one two three four five six seven eight and nine so here we have nine pandas and if we count the entire compact that makes 10. First, we have a panda drawer, a panda calendar. I think this is either a vacuum or a garbage bin. Then up the bamboo ladder. Here's more appliances. We have a panda oven, a panda fridge, a panda table. The fridge opens up and we have tons of bamboo snacks in there. I also love how the eyes act as a window. And we have a couple little pandas way back there. Here is our character, and again, I don't know her name. All I know is I love her purple hair. And she's got a panda on her shirt. She's also got a panda face paint. So this would be panda number 11. And if we count her face paint, it's panda number 12. Then we get a mommy panda and a baby panda, which makes panda number 13 and panda number 14. So all in all, we have 14 pandas. But wait, there's more. We can pull this out all the way, flip it around, and pop it back in. And this is another way to display your compact. I can turn this around, and here's another way to display it. So it's very versatile. You can display it in so many different ways on your shelf. As a designer, I go crazy for stuff like this because there's so much work and engineering that has to be put into these toys. To make sure that they all function properly, you can flip it back around. Pop it back in and close it. Up next, we have the pretty pink sloth. She is so cute and girly. I love the blush pink slash salmon color on her. She's got two bright pink flowers on her ears. She's got a cute smiley face and those stripes on her cheeks, which definitely make her look like a sloth. And her sloth nails, look at those. And here is the little door. We can open it and get a preview of the inside. And on the back, we have a stone pathway. This looks like a beautiful garden. We have some bushes, plants, and flowers. Here is the interior. Down here we have a lagoon scenery. Here's some beautiful water. I love the plastic they used here. It looks like real water. And here's a pink flamingo, which we can place the character in. And she just glides along the water. We also have some bushes here with beautiful flowers. And we can flip it around 
to see the garden walkway and the flamingo lagoon is on the outside. Now let's extend this and flip it around. Look how adorable this is. It's like a work of art, which I haven't said yet about the new Polly Pockets, but I actually am very impressed with this concept. And up here is our little sloth home. Now let's count how many sloths we find. There's one here, and I think that's it for the bottom part. Here's two, three, four, five, I guess, if we're counting the clock. It looks like the clock has ears on it, so I'll count that one. Six, and I think that's it for the interior, and this would make seven. So here is our sloth coat rack, and he actually kind of looks like the Babadook. I think it's because of the hat and maybe the eyes. I'm getting Babadook vibes. And now I'm scared. There's a teeny tiny clock over there, and our ladder is made of leaves. We go up into the bedroom. Here is a mommy sloth just hanging around, and there is a sloth couch. Back there, we just have some curtains. Again, the eyes look like windows, which looks really cool. We have a sloth table and a sloth clock. And way back there, we have a bowl of fruit. Here is our character. She has bright pink hair. I absolutely love crazy hair colors like this that aren't natural. She has a flower headband, and she has a sloth on her shirt, which makes number eight. And here is sloth number nine, which is a baby, and he's in a hanging position because he just hangs out with his mom. Up next, we have the Arctic Fox, another super cute one. I especially love the colors here because they're pastel, and again with the pink and purple combo, which I love, my all-time favorite. She has these pointy ears, a cute smile on her face, and she's got these furs on the side of her cheeks to make her look really fuzzy. Look at her little paws, and the paw prints here too so cute and another door where we can see the inside of the compact on the back we have a beautiful icy walkway and we can see little paw prints on the walkway we also have a seal friend and lots of crystallization on the side and snowflakes we get a beautiful winter wonderland interior down here we are in some snow we have evergreen trees all around here there's even little snowflakes on the ground and we have this icy platform that spins there's also a spot here for the character to stand in and it looks just like those little pegs where we can put the vintage poly pockets but this time it's in the shape of their feet and there's a teeny tiny bunny on this tree stump here let's flip this around and pull this out. So beautiful. I can't get over how cute this looks. I almost prefer to display them like this instead of closed like I normally do with my compacts. The only reason I would keep them closed is I'm out of space. I forgot to mention that I love how we can see the interior through the door. It almost looks like we can go right in. And on the second level, we have a bunch of fox furniture. Let's count our foxes. One, two, three, four, and five. Not a whole lot here, like with the past two compacts. So far, this has the fewest amount of animals. This looks like a fridge or maybe a closet. The fox here actually looks more like an owl. We have gorgeous icy walls and these icy steps that take us to the bedroom. I love this so much. It looks so cute and cozy. We can open it up to reveal our lounge area. I also love the iridescent background. And we have a cute fox lamp. The tail even looks like the string that you pull to turn the lamp on. And here is our character. She looks like Polly, but I don't remember seeing Polly with a hairstyle like this. She's got a sweater with a fox on it. So that makes fox number six. And here is our mommy fox, which makes number seven. Next, we have a cute little pink bunny. This was one of the ones that was really hard to get and took a while to arrive at my house. It actually came opened even though it was supposed to be brand new. I can tell the packaging had been tampered with and at that point I didn't want to exchange it because it took forever to get to my house and I really wanted to do the showcase as soon as possible. But she's in good condition with a few minor manufacturing errors. Like this in her ear, for example, it's a bit chipped. But she's super cute, I love her ears, and I love how this one is folded down. 
Her expression is also very kawaii. She's got the rosy cheeks, little bunny teeth, and those paw prints. I love them. And here is the door where we can see the interior. On the back, we have a cabbage patch. We're growing some cabbage in this beautiful garden. There's also tons of flowers, grass, and bushes. I love how it looks like springtime in here. Here is our garden. There's a platform where we can put the character and this just slides up and down the garden. So we are watering the flowers. We can see them moving as I'm sliding this platform. And at the very end, there's a little bunny that's popping out of the bushes. I also love the stone path, nice textures all around, and the white picket fence really ties it together. Now we're gonna flip it over, flip this part, and another cute display. And up here, we get some cute bunny furniture. Let's count how many bunnies we see. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Here is a bunny cart full of flowers. Here's a bunny drawer. And I believe this is a bunny flower pot because I can see some flowers sprouting out of it. These stairs are made of vines, it looks like. We can climb the stairs and get to this little bunny swing. I love the flower up here too. It's so pretty. And in the background, we just have more shrubbery, flowers. So beautiful. I think this is my favorite interior so far because it looks so happy and bright. Here is Polly. Hello, Polly. Good to see you. I think that's supposed to be a flower on her cheek, but because the print work is so tiny, it just kind of looks like a mole. Still pretty. Still cute. And here is bunny number seven on her overalls. And here is our bunny figure, and she is so cute. So tiny, and look at those ears. I can't get over that face. It's so cute. And lastly, we have the kitty. I recently just found out this existed, so this is another one that took a while to come to my house. She is in a vibrant teal color with violet ears and paws. Look at her little hands. I just love these because they look like my dog's paws. Another kawaii expression with the mouth and her whiskers. And here is our door where we can see a little bit of the inside. And on the back, this is actually a unique artwork. We don't have a walkway or a path like the other ones. This looks like the kitten's room. There's a kitty pillow, a blanket with a fishbone on it, some yarn because cats love playing with that type of stuff, and a cozy cat bed. I also love the background artwork here because it looks so ethereal. There's stars, sparkles, and that purple to pink to blue gradient. It just looks so dreamy. This looks so fun and vibrant. Down here we have a little basket. It's a swing. How fun. And we have a cozy bed over here in the shape of a fish. Here's our litter box. And on the floor we have a bunch of paw prints. Here's some fish bone, although you really shouldn't give that to cats because they can choke on it. We even get this cat ramp. So up the ramp, we see more cat stuff. Let's start counting. One two, three, which is the entire TV, four, which is the actual content in the TV, and five, if we flip this over, six, here's seven, the litter box, and eight. Now let's flip this over, turn it around. So playful and fun. I love this so much. It really does look like a cat playground. Here we have a cat mirror. I love how reflective this mirror is, even though it's just a sticker. And we have a cat chair. And these stairs also look like those cat jungle gyms that are made of carpet material. We can see some of that texture here. And we get to the kitty bedroom. Here's the cat TV. It looks so cute. I want one. Our cozy bed and our bed sheets have stars, moons, sparkles, and a cute cat clock way back there. More stars, which actually look like those glow-in-the-dark stars we all stuck on our ceilings when we were kids, and some fancy curtains. I also noticed one more cat, which is the actual swing. We can see cat ears over there. So this is cat number nine. Here is our character who looks absolutely adorable. The pink pastel hair, which looks almost white. I love that so much and I really wish I could pull that hair color off. There's a cat on her shirt. That's cat number 10. She's also got cat face paint on, which makes number 11. And here is our sleepy little cat. 
cat number 12, and I love her because she kind of looks like the Cheshire Cat. It's the pink stripes for me. And that was the Polly Pocket Flip and Find Animal Sets. I got all of these on Amazon. These two are more easily accessible. These three are coming from the UK, I believe, so you might have to pay a little more for them, but they are all on Amazon. I think they're super cute, super unique. I love the different ways you can display them. I also love the activity of trying to find how many of each animal is in the compact. And I can't wait to see how many more they make because there are so many more animals out there. I want a puppy, a giraffe, a monkey, a hippo would be really cute as well, an elephant. The list is never ending. Thank you so much for watching this highly requested showcase. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.